Okay, so Diva enters the Nexus, yes. And emojis, in-game chat messages are now limited to 10 emojis per message. The roll column in the stats tab has been split into healing shielding and damage taken. Oh. Certain heroes will display values in both columns. Oh, cool. Nice. The rejoin screen has been updated to provide a smoother experience when reconnecting to an ongoing match. Emoji nerf. <laughs> uh, player levels displayed in portraits have received visual update. Yes! No longer snapping the camera to a hearthstone. <laughs> So good, so good. All right, now, Alarak. First of all, let's look at a talent overview. Massive rework, and just the comment first by Blizzard, your High Lord has returned. Alarak has received a large update that he has deemed acceptable, targeted at making him more rewarding for players who take the time to master him. Baseline changes include reworking his sadism to be altruism. Oh no, reworking his sadism to be increased upon getting takedowns and putting bonus damage into his lightning surge baseline for hitting enemies in its center beam. We're also experimenting with some new talent ideas with extended lightning and chaos rains, where players can gain huge benefits for the rarely accomplished feat of hitting three enemy heroes with a single ability. Acceptable. His talent overview is now sustaining power, Extended Lightning, which is a quest, and Ruthless Momentum at 1. Then Chaos Range, Negatively Charged, Show of Force. Some of the ta these talents, which are not in Italics, are old talents reshuffled to a different tier, possibly with new functionality, but I just kind of want to get a feel for that. Dissonance, Hindered Motions, Applied Force. Heroics, Unchanged. And then Blade of the High Lord, Pure Malice, Right of Rakshire. Lethal Onslaught, Lightning Barrage, Mocking Strikes. Counter Strike, Deadly Charge, Last Half, Hasty Bargain. Unchanged. So, let's take a look at how Alarak is looking like right now. Sustaining power. More healing from his lightning. Pickable at level 1. Number 2 option. Extended lightning. Reduce the damage bonus of sadism by 10%. So that's a negative. Uh, and then the quest. If you hit heroes in the center, you get a range of lightning surge. The second quest tier is that you gain a slow. And the third quest tier is that you get your sadism back. Huh. Interesting. Cool. Now his basic ability changes are pretty significant as well. Alarak gains 3% sadism per enemy takedown, up to a max of 10 takedowns. This bonus is lost on death. It now also affects his self-healing versus enemy heroes. Discord Strike now has the double cross functionality baseline. The mana cost has been reduced. And then Lightning Surge, mana cost reduction, damage reduction. And enemies hit in the center take double damage. Healing is no longer based on the amount of damage done to enemy heroes. And enemy heroes now hit. Enemy heroes hit now heal Alarak for 70 health. And a new talent, Ruthless Momentum. While above 80% health, your basic abilities cool down 20% faster. At level 4, he's going to have negatively charged. Increase the bonus damage from hitting the center portion of Lightning Surge to 200%. Wow. Triple. Quest. Each time you hit an enemy hero with the center portion, increase the da center damage bonus by an additional 5%. There is no cap. <sighs> Chaos Range. Move from level 7. Increase Discord's damage. Increase Discord's damage. Hit 15 hit enemy heroes. Hit 2 enemies with a single cast. Hey. No cap? No cap, no cap. Hit three enemy heroes with a discord strike in a single cast. 
What does that mean? And complete all quests. You do this once? You complete everything? Immediately? Oh, they're one-off quests. Okay, okay. So, 180 damage cap. Three different components. Makes sense. Okay. Wow, that's pretty cool. New talent, show of force. Hitting an enemy hero with three abilities within two seconds causes them to take an additional 70 damage. For the horde! Really like your stream. Thank you for explain everything very in detail. Grup ride SMORC for the horde SMORC. Thank you very much, no Paul. Appreciate it. Yay. Hitting an enemy hero with three abilities within two seconds causes them to take an additional 70 damage. That's pretty cool. Level 7. Dissonance. No longer reduces sadism. Now, dissonance was what? Just gonna be looking it up. Alarak. Dissonance was... Oh no, I can't look it up in the game. Wait, let me check this one. Alarak. I forgot what dissonance does, sorry. Oh yes, longer silence. Three quarter seconds increase of the silence. So 2.25 second silence, no longer having that sadism reduction. Hindered motion. You can now slow them for 40% instead of 25. That was shit, and now it is both earlier and better. Wow. And no longer reduces sadism. Very strong. Applied force. Reduce sadism, but increase 20% and push. Okay. No more bonus damage on telekinesis. Pure malice. Sadism bonus. Okay. New talent. Blade of the High Lord. Your basic attacks against enemy heroes grant you 6% sadism for 4 seconds, stacking up to 30%. That's good. Slow is worse? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. From 40 to 25. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> Damn. For a level 7 talent, 40% slow would be insane. Yeah, I should have read it better. Lol. Uh, right of Rakshir. Activate to mark an enemy hero using Discord Strike on your marked target. Increases your sadism by 3%. Marked target. Interesting. <gasps> 300 second cooldown every five minutes you can choose one marked guy like you're screwed <laughs> alarak has it out for you i don't want to get marked when i'm streaming <laughs> using discord strike on your mark target increases your sadism killing the enemy hero gains you 6% bonus status and sets the cooldown of right to 10 seconds. Then you can cast it on the new one. Dying removes all bonuses. Oh. Imagine just getting marked and just getting bullied. <laughs> Projected force removed. Quick man removed. Lethal onslaught. For 4 seconds after hitting an enemy hero with discord strike, your basic attacks gain 50% of status as a benefit. Wow. Attacking enemy heroes. Wow. If lightning surge hits an enemy hero within its center portion, it can be cast again with no mana or cooldown. Psst, 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 psst. Pretty cool. Mocking strikes. Your basic attacks against enemy heroes with your stun slowed root silence. Huh? Reduces your basic ability cooldowns. <gasps> wow. Very good. Last laugh. It's now a 30 second cooldown. Range has been decreased. But your health reduction is after 4 seconds. And if you damage 3 enemy heroes with basic abilities within 4 Reading seconds after teleporting, the health is not reduced. 12 months. So you can engage. Now I can return to maining Alarak without feeling bad. All hail the High Lord. All hail the High Lord. Darth attack. And with such a fitting name as well. Thank you. With the reset. So you can use it as an engage and you need to hit everyone. And if you do, and if you do, you'll be fine. But if you miss, 
you'll go to one HP and you'll be in the middle of everyone. <laughs> it's so fitting for his lore. So cool. Greetings, friend. Thank you, Flore, for the sub. Cassia. Ball lightning damage reduction, Valkyrie damage increase, charge strike damage reduction. Damage increase? No, no, no. Threshold decrease. More dragon claws. Longer spell shield on jumping. And less dodge. Charge. Cool that. I mean, a nerf. Unending hatred. This is his season marksman. Increase the amount of basic attack damage from minions from 0.1 to 0.2. Oh. It was the least used and the worst. Interesting. Nova, Snipe Master. No longer lost when hitting non heroes. You don't gain anything, but you don't lose it. Yeah, I called the nerf for Cassia Charge Strikes, but I thought it would be more. But it's it's still good. Custom UI has been added to show the cooldown before your next attack for really anti armor. Spread. Oh, okay, but it's still Zara really bad changes. talent. Acceptable. Uh, no. oh, thank you for telling. No, not for it. Basic attack damage reduced by four damage. That's like. 3.9% nerf on this basic attack. Why? Is Zul'jin overperforming? Did I miss the boat of troll abuse? Greetings, friend. Love your steam, man. <laughs> yeah. Wow, Zul'jin has a 53% win rate. I did not know that. Interesting. 53.6. I didn't know he's he's OP. Love my steam. Thank you, Hexisins. Uh, basic attack damage increased four, so it's about four point two percent, four point three percent. Overpower reduced the damage bonus after powering a basic attack from twenty five to twenty percent. Increased the basic attack damage from completing all three quests from thirty to forty five. Now also reduces the mana cost of. <laughs> Nice try. Nice try. Uh, still gonna be shield wall. Increase the amount of parry basic attacks needed to reduce the cooldown of parry from 2 to 4. People are still gonna hit him all the time. Yeah. Nothing changed, I would say, probably, for Varian. I guess it makes Warbringer with uh, the, the Juggernaut at 13 a little bit more viable, but I suspect for the most part it will still be the same and Twin Blades are still unpickable. Specialist Probius, Pylon Overcharge. No longer 50% bonus health in Pylons. Big fan, big fan. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much. Egregious filled in. Appreciate it. Thanks for the sub. Damage decreased as well by 3 damage increased from null gate okay well okay. bestow hope hope generation from damage dealt to non-heroes reduced from eight to five percent damage dealt to non-heroes oh wow this is a really big deal this is a pretty big deal ariel ariel nerf deserved deserved Lily, damage reduction on Cloud Serpent. Blinding Wind, cooldown increase, mana cost increase. Gale Force, damage reduction. Lightning Serpent, damage reduction. Oh, poor Lily mains. Yeah, that's a big deal. These changes are really, 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 really gonna really gonna affect her huge changes huge nerfs i mean they're small but they're huge it was fun she might still be played we'll see lucio heal amount reduced from three to two huh what wait are you serious 
you. Okay, uh, that's fifty percent less healing. Wait, why thirty three percent? Isn't fifty percent less? Oh no. 33% less. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. But it doesn't affect Amp It Up. <laughs> hey, but it doesn't affect Amp It Up, right? Because Amp It Up is like an absolute number. I don't... I don't know, man. Is Amp It Up percentage based? Because it doesn't say so when I'm looking at his tooltip here. Damn, if it's percentage based, then Lucio got gutted. Now, Taronda. Taronda got a rework. Let's look at it. Yeah, Amp It Up is not percentage. So, his burst is pretty much the same. But his uh, trickle healing is is lower. Okay. Taronda. Basic attack damage reduction. Uh, Light of Illoon. No longer heals yourself. You have a cooldown reduction on your healing when you land a basic attack. You heal for less. But you can heal... And you can heal less often, depending on how many times you attack, obviously. Mana cost has reduced since she had mana issues, so that helps. Her base ability, Sentinel, is going to be a quest, which is uh, unique and unprecedented in Heroes of the Storm. If you hit heroes, you will increasingly be able to uh, poke one extra target. Eventually, maybe you can pass through the whole enemy team. To run the game's stealth and movement speed from Shadow Stalk. When stealth is lost, she keeps her movement speed and gains 50% attack speed. Huh. Diablo to run the meta bit coming back. And 30 seconds cooldown. Radius reduced from 6 to 5 on Starfall. Ranger's Mark, new functionality. Basic attacks lower the cooldown of Hunter's Mark by 1 second. For every 60 basic attacks against heroes, increase the duration of Hunter's Mark by 1 second. Wow. And this is still the vulnerability thing. Okay. Lunar Blaze is now level 1 and it's a quest where if you hit people with Lunar Flare you increase the damage after you hit 10 no longer costs mana after you hit 20 it becomes big again Ranger used to be the width and damage as it travels farther this part is still true and it's also a quest if you hit people you increase the damage at maximum range what is maximum range? That they don't say. So I will not pretend to understand this right now. Celestial Attunement is now a level 4. Light of Illoon removes stuns. If a stun is removed this way, Light of Illoon can be recast for free within 3 seconds. Wow. Two screens. Oh, okay. Moonlit Arrows. Basic attacks reduce the cooldown of your Light of Illoon by an additional 3 quarter second. Okay. Kaldorai Resistance. Light of Illuden grants spell armor for 6 seconds. This can stack up to 4 times. Well, you know, this is a really big deal, by the way. This is a soft cleanse, only on stun. You must hit it, or you can't recast it for free. That's extra healing when someone stuns. It's pretty interesting. But it doesn't remove silence, root slow. True Shot is now an active that has a passive basic attack damage and an active doubling of that very strong moved from level 13 <clears throat> huntress fury damaging all nearby enemies with basic attacks against hunter's mark it doesn't say how much but you can assume that it means the same amount of damage to nearby enemies no more mule no more lunar momentum darnassian archery each consecutive attack against an enemy hero deals 5% more damage. 
This lasts for 4 seconds or until you target a non-heroic unit. No cap. No cap. The cleanse is your Q, not E. Yeah, I know. We interrupt Simple this task. transmission for a necessary trying out of a presumably uncapped Choose a talent. Choose ability. A talent. Choose a talent. We'll just let this run. We'll come back in a bit. Okay. Uh, level 13. New talent, Harsh Moonlight. Enemies hit by Sentinel are slowed by 30% and have their damage reduced by 30% for 4 seconds. Oh, that's nice. That's pretty good. Poor Chaos. Poor target dummy. Mark of Mending. Tyrande's basic attacks heal her for 2% of her maximum health. Interesting. But she doesn't have that much health. Okay. Allied hero's basic attacks. Wait. I'm too curious. So be Right. Well, you know, you're never going to get that many hits usually, right? <laughs> but it's still very interesting, isn't it? Overflowing light. Moved from level 13. While above 60% life, Light of Illumin heals more. Also, new talent. Illumin's chosen. Target an allied hero for the next 5 seconds. You will heal them for more... For 200% of the basic attack damage you deal. You will heal them for 200% of the basic attack damage you deal. To what? To the target ally. The value of your current auto attack damage. Or it counts all the basic attack damage you deal within 5 seconds. Once you heal, it will add it up and heal that much extra. Well, let's try it out. On me. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Greetings, friend. Hey Grubby, why not playing Open Division? Grub Chan. Hey, because I'm As casting it Choose and I'm not a pro. Okay, so how do I heal? Uh, thank you for subbing. How do I, how do I do this? It wasn't hurt. <laughs> Oh, use the healing dummy, right. That's why it exists, right? Oh, okay, 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 okay. 2,400 heal with the level 16. Okay, it immediately transfers as healing. That makes sense. Yeah, that's... Uh, that is actually not... I know some of you may say, okay, 2400 healing, that's not a lot, it's not 10,000. But I caution you to uh, engage in uh, underestimation of this, because I think 2400 healing is actually not that bad. You know, just going against the grain here, just going out on a limp and saying it seems okay. Try it before you, 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 know, you break it. Celestial Wrath. Enemy heroes within Starfall uh, have Hunter's Mark applied to them. Oh, wow, that's very good. <laughs> Shh. 
Shooting star. Uh, increases basic attack range by 20%. Hold on. Okay, after every 10th basic attack against enemy, Lunar Flare will fire. <laughs> okay. In the name of a Lunar. Jesus, man. It's so troll. Can it miss? That's a random hero near to on this position. Okay. Uh, and Eye of the Hunters casting Shadowstalk also reveals the enemy team for two seconds. Okay. We used to have that. Ice Blade Arrows. Gain 25% attack speed. Basic attacks against enemy heroes reduces all damage they deal by 5% for 3 seconds. You can stack up to 50%. <laughs> Strong. Strong. During one of our design meetings many months ago, we came to the consensus we wanted to swap the heal functionality between Tyrande and Uther. It felt like the self-heal mechanic was better suited on a frontline melee healer. I agree. So we gave it to our favorite paladin in his... Favorite paladin, Rip. Uh, are, are, there, are there any other paladins? Anyway, our favorite paladin is latest rework. Instead of simply removing functionality from Light of Balloon, we decided to arch a large amount of cooldown reduction. This will reward players who can stay in combat and has allowed us to shift some of our power from healing output into more utility and offensive based areas. Rip Lothar, Rip Arthas, Rip Tyrion Forging. Overall, we are extremely excited to see what our players can do with her new kit and look forward to hearing any feedback you have. Cool. Uther, Wave of Light, Mana Return Reduced. Aww. Locust Swarm, Damage Reduction. A nerf in the cooldown of Nabrubian Armor, which is like the Dampen Magic. Nice, you can find some windows in between Dampen Magic now. <laughs> Bed of Barbs, a 10% damage nerf, just about 9.5. Merited because Anubrak is both overperforming and this is also happening to be the most popular level for talent. Kite Displating got buffed. I thought it was the best. I'm very happy about this. I'm going to use this. Thank you very much. Let's move on and not put too much attention on that as I do love farming Anubrak wins. Going on, Dahaka. Dark Swarm. Damage increased. Primal Aggression has been removed. They've added that damage to his base. No longer bonus damage to hero, so it's kind of like a weak version of primal aggression has been added to his base kit. Cooldown increased from 9 to 10 seconds. Now you can take something else at level 1, then primal aggression on the Haka, for example, enhanced agility or tissue regeneration. Feeding Frenzy. It is like Misha's stun reduction, 2 seconds per hit. Wowie, 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 wowie. Good. Swift Pursuit is really removed. Ferocious Stalker. Your abilities deal more damage while you have Brush Stalker movement speed buff. Interesting. Also, Primal Rage. Gain 1% basic attack damage for every essence you currently have. Hello, Diablo. Diablo the Haka. Diablo Haka. 1 basic attack damage for every essence. And the max essence is what? 50? 1%. Strong. You'd be incentivized not to use essence, adding a new dimension to the whole thing. These changes are primarily based on win and pick rates. We removed some unpopular talents and combined a few others to make them more attractive. Sonia, whirlwind from 4 to 5 seconds. That's a pretty big nerf arena. Some bug fixes. Praxis no more AFK beacon. Bacon UI that appears below the minimap will now correctly appear bacon. Cool. Secondary shields granted by network carapace will no longer benefit from sustained carapace. Ah, Abathur was bugged. That's why everyone was running Carapace built on the ladder. 
That's why everyone had so big shields. Oh my god, Grubby, pick level 1 ranges mark and press complete quest. Okay. Adding 5 stacks to unlimited quests. Completing all quests. So what does it do? Every 60 basic attacks in against enemy heroes increase the duration of Hunter's Mark. Let us make haste. For one second. For Kalimdor. 1337. <laughs> Is that a coinky dink? An 80. Let us make haste. That's funny. Lead. Uh, Asmodan, when demonic invasion is cast on an area of terrain that's not pathable, the demonic grunts will now be placed as close as possible to the casting location rather than failing. Good. Move command. Ah, good. This was annoying. Ah, oh, good. Gaslow can now cast turrets on himself again. Very nice. Kerrigan nerf. Kerrigan bug buff has been removed, so she's fairly useless again. Oh. You know, the funny thing is, all these bugs can now be used <laughs> to your advantage for a week outside of the PTR. Don't do it, though. Have some morals. Sound will now play their prepare for battle voiceover lines. Yay! <laughs> you remember that? The monkey. Samura monkey, non stop. Lucia will now correctly play voiceover upon searching in Portuguese and Chinese. Very good. Okay, okay. Yeah, the monkey Samuro kept laughing just like I did. You don't need to what face. I'm, um, I'm okay now. Thank you. New announcers, by the way. Overwatch, really nice. Let me check it out. Ooh. Battle's about to begin. Let the battle begin. Hero slain. Hero of the storm. She doesn't sound Korean to me. Victory! Battle's about to begin. Let the battle begin. Hero slain. She reminds me of Lily. Hero of the storm. Victory! Battle's about to begin. Let the battle begin. Prepare for battle. Let the battle begin. Hero slain. Hero of the storm. Storm. Victory. Prepare for battle. Let the battle begin. Hero slain. Oh no! We lost, lost the porch! Stop it right there! <laughs> there we go! 